So hello and welcome all signs. This is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go uh, day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Uh, keep in mind that these are daily readings, so the energies are not that big. We will be reading with Lenormand today, and to clarify with the title, uh, make sure to follow and subscribe so you don't so you know when I come out with a new reading, and it really helps me out as well. So, uh, and thank you all for being here. It means a lot. So, um, let's uh, begin. Aries, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. happiness here Aries this coming week starting something new as well yeah it's a good good feeling let's see So, Aries, on Monday, there is a it's like you're saying goodbye to an, uh, an emotion here on Monday uh, for the last time, like uh, thinking about it, feeling it, but then um, moving on from it like uh, closing a, a chapter or a, a door here uh, forever Aries um, yeah, so it looks like like moving on from uh, or taking a look at a feeling one last time Tuesday it's a good day at, at work or your uh, your creat creativity is flowing as well on Tuesday Aries like uh yeah can be some good news as well on tuesday regarding uh well your work or a, a project here something that will make you happy <clears throat> yeah wednesday as well aries It really it's like you are um, focusing on work this week like putting your focus on work is when it comes to your emotions like you're trying to get past something here Aries because on Wednesday it's uh, it's the same feeling like uh, like Monday I hear you are more it's like you're starting to feel it less and less this uh, pain, this heartbreak, something that hurt you, is the, doesn't affect you as much. There is a feeling of moving on. Um, Thursday. Yeah, the world and the and the fish here it's like you are entering a new er era a new chapter Aries so it really is uh, a goodbye here to an old feeling to an old emotion and entering something new feeling much more refreshed here and 
on Friday. Let me just take a look. That's this card came up reverse. Yeah, that was the only one. It's almost like on Friday, Aries, the, the day is finally here. Like you've been waiting for uh, for something to happen. And on Friday, it's, yeah. It's finally here. Like uh, uh, some uh, plans or an event or uh, a date. Um, something that you've been waiting for. yeah so Aries looks like you are uh, moving on from an emotion this week a feeling a little bit more focused on 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 work or some good news at least on at work and yeah a uh, feeling of uh, renewal here so Aries um, that's what I had for you thank you and uh, Bye. Taurus, so this is going to be your weekly reading. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. Starting off the week a bit, we will see. We will see, Taurus. That's uh. Because by the end of the week, it looks pretty, pretty good. I already do have a, some sort of communication or a, a rider here. It's like on Monday, Taurus, you do have a lot of things on your plate uh, needing to... Um, be very organized with your time here to get everything done in time as well um, but yeah I kind of do see you being a little bit all over the place like needing to do a lot of things here on on Monday uh, Taurus Tuesday it's like you feel a bit exhausted here Taurus uh, can be as well if you are in an argument or a discussion with somebody that you're just not feeling up to it not wanting to uh, uh, to fight anymore or discuss this but yeah it's a little bit of a uh, feeling drained here Taurus on on Tuesday can be after a, a day like this as well because it looks like you do have a lot of things to do on on monday so just wanting to rest on tuesday wednesday it's like something uh something small will brighten your day here taurus Yeah, it is a it is a, a happy feeling, a joyful one. But it's like a, I don't know if a, it's a compliment or like a small gift, but it's a yeah. 
Yeah. Can be as well some some good news uh, on Wednesday, Taurus. <coughs> Thursday. This can be somebody from the past, Taurus, coming your way on Thursday, sending some uh, communication or, or it can be as well that you are running into them like a past person yeah because it's uh it's like it brings up this feeling of you uh Yeah, Taurus, like it brings up this feeling in you that, uh, well, I I can't believe I used to uh, to date them or, or be with them. There will be a little bit of feeling of regret here on Thursday. Um, just trying to see if it has to do anything with this argument. Yeah, but can be as well, Taurus, that you will hear some, uh, well, not so good news on Thursday as well. Like something uh, bad happened to, to a close one. And on Friday, Taurus, is this uh, feeling of... Uh, well, wanting to do something, but it's like having nothing to do on Friday. A feeling of a little bit of uh, boredom here. It's like you want to explore something or try something new, but... Yeah, just... Yeah, feeling a bit bored. Uh, on Friday, Taurus, even though that you wanting to do something, want to have a new experience here. But yeah, Taurus, uh, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you and uh, bye. Gemini, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know. For the coming days. Like a new goal here, Gemini, this week. A new focus within you. Do you see some communication as well? <clears throat> like, uh, it's almost like you're trying to learn something new here, Gemini. But we will see. Or a new goal. On Monday, Gemini, it's like you put a new manifestation or a new goal, like something you are wanting to achieve here, and you are going for it. Q. 
Tuesday. It's you doing your re research when it comes to this. Uh, can be that you're asking somebody. Somebody's giving you some uh, some wisdom or, or some knowledge here. Or can even be you uh, seeking it out. Uh, Gemini. Like uh, Google, Google or Yeah. Wednesday can be a good day at work. Gemini. A lot of happiness can be that you're working with somebody that you uh, like, that you work good together on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, sorry. Thursday. There's a belief here, Gemini, on Thursday within you. Like you believe that you you can uh, achieve this, that you can do this. Um, Yeah, it's a lot of hope here, Gemini, for this new um, goal or dream that you are uh, pursuing. And on Friday, this can be you going on a, a date, Gemini. Can even be that you might uh, be uh, traveling to a place that you really enjoy. Uh, to people that you, uh, or with people that you care about. It looks like a good Friday for you, Gemini. But yeah, there's a week of, uh, of you putting yourself first here, Gemini. Focus on your goals, on your dreams, and uh, going after them. Like starting small, but you're starting. Yeah, so, Gemini, that's what I had for you. Uh, thank you, and bye. Cancer, so it's going to be your weekly reading. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know. Coming days. Some worries here, Cancer, some uh, confusion as well. <coughs> Trying to find the answer. Uh, let's see, let's start with Monday. Cancer, it's like you are moving on from something that has been uh, uh, worrying you, like something you've been uh, overthinking here. And it's like uh, you're just not wanting to think about this anymore or worry about it. 
So you're just gonna you're just gonna leave it there behind cancer. Yeah, can be as well that this uh, like you are just trying to work your way through uh, Monday um, can be as well uh, like a small headache and you're just want, wanting this day to be over uh, Tuesday It's like a a promise that you are making towards yourself here, Cancer, on Tuesday. It's not a like a promise that you're just gonna break. This is this is really something that you are uh, that you mean. And you're gonna stick to it. Oh. It can be a, a change and you are just going to stick to it. Wednesday, a lot of love this day, a lot of uh, care, good emotions. can be with your, uh, uh, with your person, you're sharing a wonderful day together or just with somebody that you uh, really care for uh, on Wednesday. A lot of uh, love on Wednesday here, Cancer. Thursday. It's like you are doubting yourself, Cancer. Like reducing your your energy on this day, on Thursday. Not believing that you can do something or just, uh, well, there's a doubt here. Yeah, and in reality, you know that you, you got everything under control, that you got this. There is nothing to worry about, but then you start to worry anyways. can be towards a decision it's like you know what you will uh, decide uh, you know, which way you're wanting to go because here on Friday I kind of do see you making a, a final decision when it comes to something cancer Yeah, so it's like you you know all along what is what it is that you are supposed to do, but it's like you're second guessing yourself. But on Friday, it's like you make the final call or the final cut here. Yeah. So, Cancer, uh, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you and uh, bye. Leo, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day, starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. It's like you are dealing with somebody 
this week, Leo, that you're just not wanting to uh, deal with. Now we will see. Let's start with Monday, where it looks like a pretty good day. We do have the sun here. Yeah, Leo, on Monday I kind of do see you just uh, feeling uh, good about yourself, about you, uh, where you are right now. Uh, it looks like you do have everything under control. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, well, a feeling of stability surrounding you. That you know that you, well, yeah, you do have everything. Uh, uh, feeling content here, Leo, with what you have. Tuesday. This uh, it's like something you you felt hurt by before, Leo. It's no longer so. Like this, it's a it's a pain, it's a burden that you've been uh, holding on to, and it's on on Tuesday. It's like you don't feel it. Uh, you don't feel this pain anymore. Can be something that remind you of this uh, of this feeling, but it's like it doesn't affect you as it used to. Let's see. Wednesday. It is about a communication here, Leo. And I do see you wondering if you should, uh, well, if you should uh, send it or not. Like you do want to have something uh, to say to a, a, a person here, wanting to tell them something. Or it's just you trying to figure out the best way to do so. Or even if you should. Yeah, because on, on Thursday, it's like you are wanting to just move on from this or move on. Uh, I do see it being this communication or this person. Like uh, feeling enough time has passed that you, you should just move on. You should just let it go. But it's like something telling you uh, that you can't. Not yet. It's like you're not wanting to move on from this, Leo. Yeah. And on Friday, can I do see you just being a uh, um, wanting to take it as easy as possible on Friday, Leo. Like really, uh, well, rest up here. Not having much energy to do uh, anything else and just take it easy. Just staying home and watching a lot of good movies or series, reading a book, but just take it easy. 
yeah but leo uh, there is a sense here of uh, you wanting to move on from something but feeling like you have to uh, well say something first or if it really is the right thing to do is to uh, move on from this it's like you Yeah, it's like you have to do something first. Yeah, so, Leo, um, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Virgo, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days You do have a little bit of everything here, Virgo. Well, we'll see. Let's start with the clarification right away. So, Virgo, on Monday, I kind of do see you uh, creating a stronger bond between you and somebody here. Um, it can be a, a new, um, a newer person where you're trying to just uh, become a well, become a friend with this person, uh, getting to know them a little bit better. Tuesday, can I just see you wanting to be just left alone on Tuesday, Virgo? Uh, not wanting to deal with anybody. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, kind of leave me uh, alone kind of energy here. Uh, being in your thoughts, in your emotions. Taking a look at the past. Yeah, just needing some you time here on Tuesday. Wednesday. It's a very healing day for you, Virgo. It's like removing some of the pain that you once felt. Yeah. A transforming energy here. Or a healing one. Thursday. <coughs> Can I do see you needing to do something that you uh, would rather skip on Thursday? Or it's like you have a, a deadline or a, you made a, a promise or a commitment here. So you know that you need to do it. But in reality, this is just something that you're not wanting to uh, take part of. Not really. So yeah, feeling like you have to do something on Thursday here. And on Friday, 
Virgo can be, be a communication about um, a work if you have applied to a new job or work and you will be hearing from that on Friday this can be you as well Virgo just setting things in motion uh, for a uh, your job or your your project here like expanding it but yeah virgo that's what i had for you this week uh thank you and uh, bye libra so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know for the coming days. A lot of uh, going within here, Libra. Uh, thinking about yourself, about your um, your goals. What's important to you? Well, let's see. Can be a focus on your family as well. So, Libra, on Monday, <coughs> I kind of do see you wanting to uh, change uh, something here, but at the same time not being uh, certain about it because it's an unknown territory for you. Yeah, it's like trying something uh, new here, Libra. But for now, it's like you're just uh, thinking about it. Where are you? Because this new. Because kind of do see you needing, wanting to, uh, or something has happened to you that made a change here. Because here on Tuesday, it's like you are worried about what this could, uh, what this will bring, this new, new chapter, this new world for you. A little bit worried about the future here, Libra. let's see yeah so on tuesday it is a worry about what the, uh, the future might bring wednesday On second Libra. Uh, 
yeah it's like you are entering uh an unknown feeling here in this uh, week libra um like something you are trying to to take on but still be very at the same time being very uncertain what this uh, will bring because here on on wednesday i kind of do see you focus on this uh, change but it's like with every step you are feeling it's like you're not taking the steps with uh, confidence or knowing exactly what you're doing it's a little bit of uh, um, worried with every step here libra that you are making but on thursday it's like you you know that this is something that will uh, benefit you so you're just taking uh, you're just going with it can be a like a new job as well libra coming into a new job and it's like being uncertain with every move that you're making uh, feeling worried that you're making something wrong yeah but here on thursday can i do see you just uh, going for it doing what's right for you and on friday libra it is uh it's like an opportunity here on friday of having a um, well having some fun but you're walking away from it it can be a invitation to some place a, a party or just a gathering uh, it's like you do have a lot of other things to take care of so you don't have time for this uh, event yeah so libra there's a change here this week but can i do see you just just take it on not not backing off from this uh, challenge or this change so libra that's what i had for you this week uh, thank you and bye scorpio so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with monday so let's see What you need to know for the coming days. like you are moving on from something this uh, this week Scorpio we will see let's start with Monday So, Scorpio, on Monday, it is a feeling of uh, wanting to quit something or just end something here. Uh, knowing it's the right thing to do or you can feel it like it's, it's time I will end this or... Or 
I'll stop. Uh... Yeah, it's a filling up uh... ending something, Scorpio. Because you can feel that that's the right thing to do. Tuesday. It's a very fast energy here on Tuesday, Scorpio. I'm gonna um, let me see one second Scorpio let's clarify this Yeah, it's like you're not wanting to miss an opportunity here on Tuesday, Scorpio. Like uh, feeling time is the essence here. It can be a job offer or... Uh... Yeah, but it's like ex you know exactly what it is that you're wanting and you're going for it on Tuesday like uh, clarity here Wednesday it's like you are having these long uh, talks with a uh, friend uh, Scorpio on Wednesday like somebody you can consider uh, an equal and somebody that you can just talk with uh, forever here. We're having a, a, a really long and deep talk with a, a friend here on Wednesday. <clears throat> Thursday. Kind of do see you just wanting to be uh, left alone on Thursday like creating your own little bubble Scorpio and just uh, well sit with your feelings can be a lot of thoughts about the past as well that comes into play here on Thursday and on Friday almost looks like a, a change of plans Scorpio or you canceling some plans yeah. yeah can be a date or uh, something you have promised somebody but it's like you are just not feeling up to it or you're just uh, well canceling them Yeah, so uh, change of plans on Friday. So, Scorpio, that's what I had for you this week. Uh, thank you and bye. Sagittarius, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see. what you need to know for the coming days.
It's a lot of uh, confusion here, Sagittarius, are wanting to be left alone a little bit this week, not wanting to deal with anybody. Um, it's like you do have something on your mind that you're trying to work through. But I do like that we do have uh, the stork here on Friday, this transformation by the end of it. So let's see. So. Sagittarius, on Monday, It's like you are determined here with a decision that you made. It's like there's no way of talking your way out of it. It's like it's it, it's final. This uh, well, this decision. And you're sticking to it. Tuesday It's like you are trying to think Sagittarius in new ways but it's like you're still stuck in the in the old old uh, old ways trying to get in some clarity but not being able to find them a little bit of confusion here on Tuesday uh, Sagittarius it's like you are seeking an, an answer <coughs> Yeah, overthinking quite much. It's like you're not... It's like you are trying to move forward with a, a conversation or... Well, just you, but you are feeling quite stuck here. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday thinking about an uh, can be an argument here Sagittarius quite much a little bit uh, well maybe I shouldn't have said that or maybe uh, I should have said that it's like overthinking a, a discussion here you can't get it out of your your head yeah Thursday it's a feeling of just wanting to be left alone on Thursday Sagittarius even though that you might have a lot of things to do on that day it's uh, like you just don't feel like moving at all it's like you yeah it's like you are going through something here Sagittarius um, can be a an argument with somebody and on Friday Sagittarius it's like you are slowing things down just taking a moment for yourself um, and even though you do have all of these things going on around you it's like you are just 
like you are taking you can say you kind of do see it just you like slowing things down like your surroundings your thoughts uh, everything around you and just uh, putting a new focus and uh, starting to focus on one thing yeah it's like uh here when on friday is when this transformation starts to begin Yeah, Sagittarius. Um, that's what I had for you this week. There's a lot of stuckness here, um, arguments, being firm with your decisions. Yeah, but I do see you working your way through it all. So. That's what I had for you, Sagittarius. Uh, thank you and bye. Capricorn. So this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. knowledge this week Capricorn and offer as well and even some traveling but let's see it's like you do have an, uh, an apology coming your way on Monday um, Capricorn can't even be you that is feeling to repair something uh, or given out an uh, apology to somebody. Yeah, taking the the high road here, Capricorn. <coughs> Tuesday, you see a lot of uh, inspiration on this day for you. Your creativity is uh, is blooming on Tuesday can be a sense of uh, wanting to try out something new as well Wednesday like a feeling of you missing something Capricorn on Wednesday wanting to go after something new um, it's like a feeling of not uh, just not feeling complete like you're missing something and uh, yeah can be as well as something that uh, made you happy before doesn't make it for you anymore yeah kind of do see it more as a feeling that made you feel good before doesn't do it uh, as much anymore here on Wednesday because on on uh, on Thursdays like you are 
questioning it. Yeah, it's like why why do I feel this way now when I felt another way before? So seeking some answers here. And on Friday, Capricorn. There is a small feeling of wanting to explore something or uh, travel to a place. Doesn't have to be far away, but it's like going somewhere here on Friday. Yeah, kind of do see it exploring a, a new uh, place. So, Capricorn, that's what I had for you this week. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Aquarius, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know for the coming days. Some worries, some challenges this week, Aquarius. You have a lot of joy as well. well. Let's start with Monday here for you. Like you are overthinking something here on Monday, Aquarius. Um, yeah, a lot of things on your shoulder. Yeah, so yes, a lot of overthinking here, Aquarius, on Monday. Um, thinking about everything. As an Aquarius, Aquarius do. Uh, Tuesday. Some of a new uh, experience here on Tuesday, Aquarius. Like something that you didn't uh, enjoy before or like before. It's starting to grow on you. Uh, can be many things. Can be uh, food or... It's like starting to like it. Wednesday. <laughs> Can I do see it? Uh, you having to. Uh, work a lot on Wednesday Aquarius but at the same time it's a feeling of uh, you wanting it like this is just exactly what I that I need in this day so it's like a, a day of working here uh, it can be first your job and then on a project but it's like all day on your feet, Aquarius, on Wednesday. <clears throat> but I don't see you complaining. It's uh, it's enjoyable. Like you do want want it. Um, Thursday, sorry.
It's like you taking on a problem, Aquarius, on Thursday. Can be something that you were overthinking here on Monday. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this. Yeah, it's like you're fixing a, a problem here, Aquarius. Or something that's been, been on your mind, like you are taking care of it on Thursday. And on Friday, <coughs> Aquarius, can I do see this uh, sense of, uh, of uh, happiness, of content, of what you have? Uh, it's a... Uh, sense of stability as well Aquarius a lot of happiness here on Friday feeling like you do have everything under control yeah so Aquarius taking care of some problems this week uh, some work and starting to like something that you uh, something new here or something that you didn't like before so that's what i have for you aquarius uh, thank you and uh, bye pisces so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day yep. starting on Monday, so let's see what you need to know for the coming days. Pisces. Some communication this week, Pisces, even some uh, needing to make a decision here. A lot of focus on yourself as well. well let's see, <clears throat> let's start here with Monday. Yeah, Pisces, on Monday, this can be a, like a business meeting or just a conversation that uh, that needed to happen. Like setting things uh, right here. Pisces. Can be a, as well as a, a, like a business meeting on Monday making some deals Tuesday can I do see you in your mind quite much this day Pisces trying to make a decision but having a lot of options so it's you overthinking everything here, uh, Pisces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Kind of do see it as an opportunity to work together with somebody, Pisces. But this is like you uh, wanting to work alone on Wednesday. Or you'd rather be alone when it comes to this. Uh, 
can be as well a day of uh, of skipping work doing something for yourself uh, not wanting to well work or work on a project Thursday It's a feeling of uh, wanting to be left alone on Thursday, Pisces. Um, can be as well that you're just uh, taking a look back at the past, being in your emotions here. Yeah, it's like wondering about the, or taking a look at, at the past here. Pisces can be as well uh, somebody or something that reminds you of the of the past and you uh, sitting on those emotions and on Friday Pisces to see that you do have uh, your options on Friday a lot of things to uh, do as well some options here it's like you just picking what uh, makes you the happiest Pisces yeah so many can be as well that do um, uh, a lot of people are wanting your attention here on Friday wanting some uh, some time with with you but yeah I do see that you just can uh, have your pick here on Friday Pisces so Pisces that's what I have for you this week uh, thank you and uh, bye